good. So, super excited that you, you started with this. Yeah, well, it's just like a yeah. get together on a every what was it third Saturday of every month sort of thing, rather than sometimes we'll go for like six months or a year and not see people or not know what's going on. No, it is, and it's, uh, and just to push projects forward, a lot of times you do stuff and it takes a lot longer than it should, because no one's there pushing you along saying, okay, get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done. Junior, it was when we were shooting Route 60 U-Turn 6, <laughs> you know, that movie, <laughs> Junior shot the make out sexy in the garage for like eight hours. <laughs> I remember that. And, well, wait, what is this? and our Rottweiler was like, just came. That's what I remember. She was like, oh, she just came. Well, no. It was 18 years ago. We were 20. You were 18 years ago. 17 years ago. <laughs> yeah, we, were, years ago. we were 20. <laughs> we were at Auckland. We were at OCTV. And now we're at the point of, yeah, we got to get stuff done. <laughs> it took us 18 years to get to this point to say, so we just finished up. You put, you, put it, you put it with your family stuff though, right? Yeah. What we were doing back then though with, with, with WGP is we would shoot some 8 millimeter stuff mm -hmm. and then the video stuff and then he would, have, he would hire some other people to yeah. shoot 8 millimeter for effects. That was our effect, right? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. You never had to do that. You weren't, yeah, you weren't a part of that, yeah. you were too young. No, he, you shot a couple episodes, I remember. Oh, WGP? Yeah. Oh, that's right, you He was involved. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You wanted to go where you were there because I went to your guys' house and left the spiral staircase. That's right, we were upstairs in the house, the beach house. Wait, what? Remember we shot a whole thing on the roof? We had like a roof party? Dude, I don't even know. The mom was terrified the whole time that the roof was falling. I don't know how to the roof. There was like too much of it. But I remember something happened. Something did happen. Yeah. It was magic. You were a part of it. <laughs> you were there. I don't know what we were shooting on that deal. Maybe that wasn't the... That might have been, been the other one at the off the yeah. high school, the other show that we did there. Uh, it was like the... No, that was WGP. You, you, you wanted to create like a rave-like environment to shoot within, but you had full control. Junior was always trying to recreate a part. Like, okay. First, we're going to do this whole movie set sequence, but we're going to start out with the party scene. Yeah. Every movie you wrote. And the first day of shooting, it's the party scene. <laughs> first day. It's the I'm in the middle of it. I'm filming it, right? Okay. And then the tapping, and I'm like, on you, and I'm on you, and I'm on you, and I'm on you. You're tapping, and we're turning, we're spinning, and we're spinning. All right, man, now we're going to do something. We can see her up and go through the window. <laughs> I'm Jules. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> do I have a line at all in this? No, no, that's the whole point. You don't say anything. I just saw that script the other day. I was like, what was I writing? And what was I speaking? It's the thing we fear off and you just pissed off because everything happened. You got to shoot it the first day. You know, did you see the trailer that um, I, I put out my thing? But, um, on the server? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the characters in that trailer looks like the character that he did with a uh, white gear down like the villain. <laughs> like it was I get to see him in that layer black and do the thing. <laughs> then back here, just get down. Is he recording? Is that a TV? No. Is he recording? No, sir. Hey, Joey. And that is everything else. This is everything else. It looks like it's recording. This is the account of the audio of sharing with all the channels. Great. <laughs> My friend's playing a show and we're using his recording studio on Tuesday for free. Oh. So we kind of have to like support him so it's not just like... Why do you need to be used in recording studio? What are you doing? Okay, well... <laughs> it, started, it, started, it started a radio show about two months, two and a half months ago. Mm -hmm. um, the concept chair is one of my good friends for 10 years. She is a child development expert. Uh, we worked together at school mm -hmm. and built a friendship, and then she has since kind of grown, and now she's a project manager for the Unified School District. So she's the one that trains new teachers, supervises the curriculum, mm -hmm. you know, provides training for teachers, 
and you know, she's been in the field for about 18 years. So when I became a parent, the whole teacher education was like out the window because this is not yeah. someone else's kid. Or <laughs> five, peace out, good luck with that. This mm -hmm. is like my kid forever and maybe well, one day. Yeah. Well, at five, you're so high. high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you know. Um, so I would just call her for advice, parenting advice, and we would talk about it. And it would be just really candid and funny and joking. Mm -hmm. And I would joke with her, like, I feel like uh, parents, when you talk to other parents, you're not comfortable because everyone is so judgy because things are high, they're your children. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have uh, a candid conversation about all the things that you don't want to admit about yourself or admit about your parenting or admit that you really don't know what to do. Um, and she already had a, she, well, she still has a successful podcast called Nerds on Nerds, which is basically black nerds, and we talk about gaming and nerd stuff. And, and yeah. Um, so she already had a podcast going, and so we decided to kind of create our own based on parenting topic, and then, you know, I would be the parent perspective, she is the child development expert, and uh, so we did a few shows, um, you know, one of them that got a lot of hits, I think it's almost 500, was um, nice. picking a preschool or parent-teacher relationships, I think it was our first one, and we talked about, like, you're a mom, that's your teacher. What does your teacher actually think about you? And then when you go to the teacher, are they really hearing you that for you it feels do or die? And the teacher's like, I said this if he tries to just move you off. Yeah. And how do you articulate that so you cannot be threatening to them and whatever. So basically a bunch of topics surrounding that. Um, so far I have about 1,845 downloads my shows and we counted I have nine shows. Are you doing the yeah. Amazon for your shows or do you just No. Really? I That's have pretty this, good number to have. I have this a Facebook fan page and I pay oh. a premium hosting on Blog Talk. So oh. when you go to other uh, mom and family or education shows, it's mm -hmm. my genre that I pick, um, my show will be underneath that. So if you're oh. listening to this show then my show, but other than that I've done and this is the part we're missing. So it's she's not doing that's talking about being a mother. No. It's called Money and Prayer. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's funny shit when she starts talking with other women mm -hmm. because usually it's like the women get together and they're like, they're very competitive being mothers. And then she starts talking shit about them. And yeah. saying all the stuff that they won't say. Mm -hmm. And like make fun of, make fun of it. Like make fun of right. how and just, and, and really candid about and then you listen to all this is such a tiny niche of there's all these parents and all these mothers, all these mothers, mm -hmm. and you listen to the other radio shows, and it kind of sounds like this. And let me tell you something. That's why there's so many downloads of the show. Because it stands out. Because it stands out. It yeah. really does. And you know, it's, it's really. The beginning of my show is a funk song. That's why I've never crossed the track, baby, but I know what it's like. It's like the beginning. But here's the deal. Lana's gone. She's too busy. Yeah. But she has a non-parent named Foxy on the yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, she's been talking about All right. And, um, she's an artist. She does Coachella. She's mostly does sign art. So, right. she, yeah. So she does all the signs for like the city or if you go to a coffee shop. Or anywhere downtown Main Street, that's like. She does it like. She does the. What does she do for the community? Uh, she right. does all the signs. Like the posters? All of them. Yes. All of them. Really? Yes, that's okay. Megan. She does all of them. Cool. Um, she used to work at Green Art People. Um, it, so she's just a really interesting and she's vibrant. That's so cool. her and I that's together, that's she does like oh, okay. super that's fun, that's that's upbeat. All there. Um, that's her looking at the way back. We go there, that's like the stage. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yeah. Tiny little people uh -huh. trying to say, like, I'll be like. Not PC. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> not a PC character. Wouldn't she have, like, connections for. She does posters for these things. Wouldn't she have connections for. Yeah, I think she works at Trader Joe's. My dad That's was mom and mom. You know Trader Joe's, so all the signs are hand painted. Uh -huh. She does that. That's her big full time day job. This is her. Uh, this is our art. Ah. Um, so, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, she has a drink. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, the, 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 an honest and humorous look at women and how we handle children, partners, and friends. Yeah. Put it up to the video. Put it up to the video. Oh, yeah. Show, show it on the video. So basically, uh, your question about advertising was what I was. Uh, junior and I have been kind of talking about lately mm -hmm. is something I wanted to do for advertising would be to do a funny YouTube video mm -hmm. that gets put on YouTube, Facebook, share, 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 right, right. or uh, as Jules put it, put it into a press packet for advertising mm -hmm. with like little clips from the show and then the and one yeah. and a half yeah. minute video no longer yeah. seven and a half. Yeah. Where, uh, oh, yeah. I wrote out a rap Junior heard it last night. We came up with a love <laughs> where it's basically just all the time, uh -huh. but then the visual is showing like uh, I'll just say it, like a freaking no a fucking middle aged woman with kids. So the rap turns out like who's in my rap? It's an XT90, but it's like my photo XT, and it's like kind of like blow the drinks, but not the wine, and then show my son like whining. So I'm dealing with shit all day, and it's like I'm dirty diaper. Yeah, like we were, uh, my friends and I, I was telling them about the video and I said, so you guys would come over for a barbecue and we would have like Chardonnay or Champagne, so something super like with the kids playing, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I just have a bunch of, like one of them is like, Check out all my papers because you know I got blamed, but the papers are like, uh, you know, like a catalog, like, oh, I'm working with that. Uh, uh, with like, you know, like a J. Crew has like these popular necklaces, so I got like a J. Crew necklace on the super popular. That's the point. And it's that's just, yeah. yeah, so the imagery is showing like just random normal mom life, yeah. but then yeah. it, it kind of shows like the comedy, like we are taking ourselves way too yeah. seriously. We're yeah. all trying way too hard to impress each other. Yeah. You know, so like what, what I told you her, her kids wear, the car you have, yeah. somehow is a reflection on what you are as a parent. Not what you just bought today, because that's all you could afford. No, yeah. no, oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's what we're kind of talking well, about. Well, then you can so, see the past uh, on yeah, the next Yeah, the Tuesday show was really interesting because it was a cash and parenting, and it was a shame because our internet completely like, cut out, and most of my show didn't actually get broadcast. Mm. Um, That's not true, just a few. So you do it live. Live. But then do you have, I have guest callers. I okay. schedule a caller every week, so I pre-email them questions. Hello. Or I talk to them about, like, here's what I want to ask you about. And so they can kind of permeate what they want to say, because they're not caught off guard, so it's not like dead air. Yeah, um, yeah. So we talked about attachment parenting and breastfeeding, and my uncle called in, like, breastfeeding for the mother, and that. Ridiculous, and my kids weren't breastfed, and then I kind of was like, Well, you don't really yeah. understand where breastfeeding parents are coming from. And, uh, you know, and, but then I had my friend who's a mother of four who never breastfed, she went right back to work with both all four of her kids. She didn't subscribe to any particular style of parenting. Mm -hmm. And since people who are attachment parents are so into that label, you guys don't know that, that doesn't matter. I'm saying it's a label of parenting that people are really into and they feel superior. So then, on turn, I wanted to show a successful parent who was also like, I don't know what kind of parenting is, but all four of my kids are bright, intelligent, funny, successful, like everyone is fine. Mm -hmm. To just show, like, no, we as moms gotta kind of stop bagging on each other. Like, <laughs> do your thing too. Like, yeah. um, so that was kind of. So we That's kind of the essence of the show. It's kind of all moms will have a common 
ground mm -hmm. and then we can make fun of ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so she wants, and more specifically, you want, was talking about doing the intro or like a video for her, for her show, which is, and he did a beat for it, it's like this, you know, beastie boy type, mm -hmm. other hip hop type yeah. music, and she mm -hmm. did, she wrote a rap, and I think it's a brilliant idea, and I just suggested that she get someone, actually pay like uh, Raphael for doing the camera and the photography. Yeah, and I would, would help, help her out, out with, I would help her out with that. But Directing with it, you would do. But um, where would you put this? Where would it be? It's a radio show, so where would you? I, I think it, I would put it on, you know, on my Facebook fan page and have people share that. Like right. you see videos that people just share, and you, you don't know if they're like in Wisconsin. You're like, oh, that's funny. Um, yeah. And put it on YouTube, and then you, you know, the put, and then put the link of, you know. Curious who Bunny is, and uh, you know my lifestyle. Yeah. Go to my YouTube link. Yeah. You know, check out my Facebook fan page. You know. Would you also be against maybe making um for like a YouTube page, right, um, or whatever else to put it up? There's one commercial you can make that's good. Make the one commercial right. with a rap song, like, and then you should put out ones that are come out before the next episode comes up of like saying you know previously or you know last week this is what you missed on last week's episode right. but you released it on YouTube or something where you're only releasing like five minutes right. or, or even three minutes of it even if we did like a, a little telenovela of our previous dialogue and instead of it being like yeah yeah like exactly the girl be like no breastfeeding oh you know yeah exactly something like that like that where and you, yeah 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 because that way when people see the YouTube Page, or you have a YouTube page basically. You have your commercial that makes people want to go there, and you have stuff that updates them. This is what's coming up next, right? And so people start to, you know, and again, yeah, it all links back to your, right. your blog page, right? That's what makes it very much different. And also, I would say the commercial really overrides the fact that you are live, you have know, a live show right. at, at this given time. And well, and I'm also yeah. my friend is editing it now. I did a voiceover for his film. And then we're working on a cartoon yeah. piece of drawing up the animation and getting the script ready. So when the animation and the script is ready, I already have a character that I'm going to play on this animated. So then I also have other things, you know, like so huh. when Seth is done with his project, uh, I already have his name on IMDb, which is hilarious. <laughs> my voiceover is actually over Faye Ray. So it's like the person is Faye Ray, but it's my voice. <laughs> it's a dialogue. Um, yeah. He just oh, he does that. He, he, he says Rose Kilby is his full time job. Huh. Um, He's a Rose Kilby for Star Wars. That's a Rose Kilby for everything. Really? Yeah. Like all the, that's for you. Yeah. The recent Star Wars or the old? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. we did it all. Yeah. 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 Right. He's a little younger. Yeah. He's a, he, 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 he kind of, he got a, he got a job just like you, didn't he? Yeah. What did you do with the Yeah. He, yeah, uh, he, he did, was the director, editor for, um, the lady pastor for my Christian TV. He's from Georgia and Jewish. Yeah, he's from Alabama. Alabama, yeah. He was from the South and Jewish. He's from Alabama. You don't hear that too often. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. He was like, we used to go to the hospital for the buffet on Christmas because there was nowhere to eat. He, he, had, he had a blocked up show, and, you know, it was kind of a humorous show, and, and I heard it, and that was a guest speaker. And she was so good on that show, she was hilarious. She, like, took over the show as a guest caller. And so that's why, one of the reasons why I love kind of supported this idea is because pretty good at improvising. Hmm. What's been going on is that she's been leading the show, pushing forward the topic, and doesn't have the ability so much to just improvise and just have fun and be humorous as much. And, and I'd like to give give her, the, the other part that I don't want to talk about, I want to give her a little bit of more support so that she has a little bit more leeway. You know, hmm. there needs to be a little bit more support in this process. Of this really. I mean, I'm just talking about it. You know, she most of the show comes from her experience, 
I think her guest hosts are having her psychic trip across and then I'm like, no, 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 so then it's a matter of finding like the right Ben McMahon, if you will, or the right side person to have. What, what usually works with other people who are like on YouTube is you need to interview other uh, podcast people, other podcast mothers, but who have other shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have to like get yourself on their show that way your name is being advertised through. Okay. This, this is a radio only or audio only or is this a audio? Audio. Yeah. I'm in my pajamas, making sure I take a picture. Oh, you should record that. Yeah. Oh, some three camera shoot. That's it. Three camera shoot. Hey, you know, you know, we're open. The truth is, it's like, you know, we have Jack. He's four. Yeah. She's cooking dinner. I've had I've had audio card problems every show. Crashes, <laughs> rewiring, internet <laughs> problems. Jack is outside screaming. <laughs> it's been real fun. Uh, I'm having a great time. You know, I'm not doing much producing here. Yeah. You know, we're just kind of, you know, but the truth is, is that once they go, they're going, and it's, it's, there's this wonderful thing about live. Yeah. That's different than, yeah. once it starts, it starts, and it's on. Yeah. You know, Jackson and I will come and drink some little <laughs> champagne, a little wine, <laughs> say hello in the middle of the show, <laughs> well, you know, well, yeah. so if I do a lot of your problem, I come in and have a little visit, turn up. It's weird because in the room it might sound incredible um, in the monitoring. Mm-hmm. But I'm like listening to it streaming. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm, sometimes it takes me two, <laughs> three minutes just to get the streaming going. You know, on iPad yeah. it doesn't quite work the same as the computer. And we have a lot of computers in there. And there's all these little things. It's been a, a little bit of a learning curve and humbling to somebody who's designed audio for almost 15 years. I'm like, I kind of feel like a jerk, and I'm asking, really, her ex-boyfriend? So, you know, he's a studio. I love oh. JP, he's a good guy, though. He oh. owns Castle Hill Studios, which is in town. It's been mm-hmm. voted best uh, recording studio in Ventura. Three years in a row? Oh. Yeah, three years in a row. He, what does he record over there? Uh, the big, big, big one is Iration. They're a mm-hmm. reggae band, like a punk reggae band. But they've been number one on each album. Did you record recently? Chuck D. Oh, really? Yeah. Chuck D was over there. Yeah. He, said Chuck he does Microsoft. Oh. He does all the Microsoft work now. Oh. And his setup is like not how you think it's supposed to be. How do you mean? Just the way the aud- his audio is set up. Mm-hmm. It's all like it's just different it's than. Like amps and a loft and a patty and then. No, the computer setup is just all hardware. In, on cards in his computer. Mm-hmm. I mean, the compressor is a is a is a hardware card in his computer. It's not. Oh, it's not a. It's not a, a software compressor. Right. It's just like. Well, I give it a much nicer sound. No latency and all this stuff. And yeah. He doesn't do it the way I learned how to do it. So we have we have a lot of technology stuff. <laughs> And it's different. I've, met, I've never met him. Huh? I keep trying to figure you guys out. Yeah. We're going to see him tonight. Welcome. How long are you going to be there? His session is over at 8. Yeah, that's why we kind of got to go. Eight. That's, what, that's what we're kind of working on. And, you know, Beth, Beth has had a few projects here and there, but she's never got to kind of get a little support and work on kind of her dream. And I think her dream is to kind of be a, I don't know, personality. Mm-hmm. And it's something that she knows she can do with her eyes closed. She doesn't have to make it up or. Well, that's the, that's the best kind to do, rather than when people come in. I want to be famous. What do you do? What, do you, what skills or what knowledge do you yeah. have? I, I'm not. I, I can't do anything. Like, then what are you doing? Well, I'll say yeah. stand up is not for me. Like I don't want to be stand up. The radio is perfect because when it's all so the material, too. <laughs> that's why my name is Bunny. Not <laughs> even like my real yeah. name. Yeah, it always puts out too. They're always like that. Yeah. Uh, you, should, you, should, you should bleep it out every time they say anything. What? Yeah. <laughs> two seconds. It can go back and edit, I guess. I mean, I just, yeah. I've been yeah. a little frustrated with Blog Talk in general. I call them up for like, some technical support when I was having the problem. Uh-huh. And they're like, I can't fix, I can't give you technical support on your mixer. I was like, my mixer is, I have plenty of signal. Uh-huh. 
you know, I was trying to, I couldn't get, it wasn't getting signal with their upload device. They oh. had three ways to, um, you know, going out like my audio card, it's like a 10 box for like the Pro Tools. Okay. And uh, I had signal, headphones, uh -huh. signal in the Mac, signal on all the monitor, I had signal, signal in the room, uh -huh. and then signal on the computer, and then there's like a device that has a really weird name. You do Skype. You can do this other thing that they have, or you can do your phone. Oh. And I'm like, your device isn't showing a signal. It's like, well, I can't. We can't help you with your mixer. It's like, it's not my mixer. My mixer has a signal. For 20 minutes, I went around and around with them. Uh. I don't know. They're just not very helpful. They're just kind of like, well, you're really stupid. <laughs> and then they finally handed me over to somebody that had a clue. And he's like, by that time, we just did it on the phone. You can just do it on your cell phone. Hmm. That's how they used to do it with uh, regular landlines on the cell phone. Hmm. You, can plug, you can plug an audio port into your iPhone. And, and, just and then do it also through that. Run a split into your iPhone. And <laughs> we did that one time. Right. How, how does it work, Mike? Okay, but that? when you start taking callers, your bandwidth gets pretty... Uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. And every time someone calls or texts me in the middle of my show on my phone. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is you almost do need like a, almost like a permanent setup mini micro studio thing where everything's already set and it's already well, done. Well, yeah. I should be there already. I've just had, I have at and they're working my lines in my area. I've had mm -hmm. internet problems for a month. I'm quitting the TV after 25 years. <laughs> and it's had some problems. Oh, yeah. You know, it'll get, it'll get taken care of. We're just kind of borrowing the studio so I can figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I had this thing at work. On my audio card, I had two mics. You know, she had a Coho. Okay. And I'm mixing down the audio mic on the computer and running it the output either in GarageBand or I was using another interface with another situation to mom. Uh -huh. Mixing it down to mom. Uh -huh. One thing. But Blog Talk is only taking the first mic. Really? Even though my interface says it's mono. And there's two signals mixing down to mono. It's just like they're shit. I'm just unhappy. Uh, but maybe, you know, maybe this can change to a different place, a different yeah. format. Well, that's all the bullshit that you don't want to hear about. Yeah, well, I mean, there's other stuff like no, those things. No, I like don't. No? Like in my backyard. Oh, well, I, I, have, I, have, I have a little mini studio in the back. In the back. It's like a little room. Yeah. Upside of this, maybe a little bit small. Hmm. Filled with equipment. And Junior never tried it. He didn't try it. He does. He recorded some cool stuff in there. I got a new, I got a new audio card, and then like, the drivers just crashed everything. They always Whenever you install something, you know, you always have problems. Yeah, exactly. You know, when we work full time, it's always difficult. But, um, yeah. Is that Windows 7? No, we're using Mac. We're using Mac. Because you're back perfect. Yeah. Oh, so but then great. I got a gray screen on the Mac. Yeah. Well, I know that's unfair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not that yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good idea about that you said though about trying to get other bloggers mm -hmm. blog talk radio either you show. get on their show and also you get on their yeah. show right. and you need to interview like um, the other mom shows the ones that are monotone and you say they're not interesting they're probably getting promoted because they are like with the city or something like that they with some sort of clinical like group you have to be careful though when you get attached to something like that sometimes that's what makes them go monotone it's because they yeah, have tape but you get those yeah. people. You get a lot of people. Like that's a potty talk. Yeah. You can't go my home yeah. on my show for an episode. Because that would be funny because right. everyone would know what she's like. Right. And right. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great idea. You know, there's one thing I did notice though is you get yourself pigeonholed by subscribing to whoever's on your show. I mean, one of the problems with the first show yeah. is that, you know, she's Christian. Very, very, very Christian. Uh, she was starting to try to tell Beth, like, well, uh, you can't talk about these things. 
Yeah. And I would say absolutely not. You cannot have somebody saying what you can and cannot talk about on your show. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not about dictates on the show. She calm dictates, though. It was. It was. It was. She said I can talk about dick pics, so his dad was alive, and I was like, so I was at my 25 year old to come on a birthday party, and you know, we're women here, and I am sure we do not have a party like this at all. And I said, you know, and then all the girls were in the bathroom, and I felt all lonely, like, oh, like, oh, I'm not by myself, and I think it was drinking 40 playing. And then I went in and they were like crying and I thought they were crying because they were upset. And they were crying and I was like, well, let me see. And then she showed me a picture of this guy's picture. Uh. And I went off on a rant about how no one ever wants to see a picture. Like, we don't think it's cool. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see it. We just want to feel it. You know, that <laughs> And, you know, whatever. And then I... Talking about how the guy was super skinny and it was like Miley Cyrus was dead. Like, not sexy. Like, she might have had sex with him had she not seen that selfie of this. And, and, and the other guest didn't like that. Shadonika was definitely like. Well, here's the deal. It was her last show. She agreed to talk, to talk about it. She segue into because, like, so my listeners. Oh. Would know like it's about the trip. Because she didn't want she didn't want having a show because she didn't want her church friends oh. that tying it down. Like hearing our show. It's kind of progressive talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because yeah. it's not educational enough, and it's an issue. Well, Megan and I want to have an episode on sex, like sex in your twenties for sex in your thirties, and after. After having children, like, we want to talk about it. This is some real mom shit. That I is. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it, it happens. At least I hope it does. Okay. <laughs> but that's the difference between her show and the kind of other shows that are on there. It's like, well, have you tried, uh, you know, because a punk show is good, it's informative, huh? you know, but... How many did you actually listen to? One. I can't get through mm -hmm. 10 minutes of the show. No, we couldn't. We and you're like two hours long. Yeah. Uh, how long is your show? It is too long. Hour. Strict hour. Strict hour. The Christian girl didn't listen to your show before she went on. Now they're fine. No, we, we started the show together. Oh. And uh. it was going to be like moms in education. And they knew each other from work. From, from yeah. From We've been friends for 10 years. So it's not like she doesn't know me and how I talk. Right. But one of the things she was like, no cussing. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like, oh, yeah, I, I can't call you like, what's up, bitch? Like, yeah. it's okay. I, I can get, I can get on with that. Yeah, no, then that was fine. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it wasn't. You gotta keep it I need to get it, know what it was about. But definitely with <laughs> Megan, <laughs> we want to broaden <clears throat> and talk about not just being a mom. Right. Talk about women's issues. And then from the perspective of a young woman, and then... Right. The other thing about that show that's really interesting, you know, she has all this material because of full high mom, and how, like, tippied out they are, and how, like, you know, they test and parenting. You know, we do it, we do a test and parenting, but it's like, that's, it's so extreme. Uh, you would not believe how far it goes in Omaha, and there's so much material to make fun of. <laughs> you know, so... It's just, it's just natural for for Beth to do this, and you know I'm just really just trying to be supportive of it. And I don't know, I don't know. It's nice to be able to talk about it to some other people. So thanks for giving some time to do it. I think you should also state that you are from Ohio and sort of create this world that you. No, we don't. No, we don't say that. I say I live in a very. Uh, small community where the town is known for yeah. tourism, spirituality, you know, mm -hmm. Priuses are the norm, there's four kinds of cars where I live, mm -hmm. you have Priuses, Subarus, Volvos, yeah. and hybrids, and then Mercedes and BMWs, and that's all you see in town. What do you think about creating the image, though, of almost creating, all that could be built up from different perspectives, right? But you can create an image. And that would be part of the show. That would be part of like your show. Like you have an image for the show, but you also can create an image for the actual location that the show is airing from. 
you know, and we, yeah, we, we have, yeah, we have uh, talked about that. We mm -hmm. do say, like, we're in County, um, mm -hmm. like, on Tuesday, I, you know, gave a location I talked about my experience with breastfeeding in yeah. the Ventura County area. Please check out the resource.org. If you're not, go to your local right. Leche League. There is, you know. That's what I was going to say water. with that, is that, that the couple with that, and the idea of pigeonholing, yeah. if she starts to localize it, this is the internet. Anyone can listen to it. Now all of a sudden you just go, yeah. no, I don't no, 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 it's more than it's not even that. I don't want to sell myself out either. Yeah. You know, like, I think a little mystery and mm -hmm. anonymity is well, good. Right. It's fun. Like, you want to listen in, like, ooh, she's talking about where she lives. Like, wonder where she lives. Yeah, yeah, good. exactly. You yeah. know, and it's fun. And then they can build their own or relate to a city in their town that, like, oh, that reminds me of yeah. blah, 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 you know, 20 miles down. This is the internet, Joey. Thank you. What I'm saying is, like, there's reality shows that specifically say where that show is from, and we all watch, like, for example, Star Trek. We even turn it down. And it's like, established place to record at eventually right so that way you have that that process down yeah, yeah. well because that's that's why we did this office while we did it here of you need a place where you can go in sit down and start recording there's not thinking about okay what i have to put this up i have to put this over here oh i might feel that i have to edit this because you can't just put it on oh i just love being around people like that Oh, <laughs> it's like
and uh, mouth hand. <laughs> what are you doing? What service is Um And what connection do you have? I'm Lonnie, and what we have is we offer an office location where you can bring people and they can talk and uh, commiserate or uh, actually do like casting um, meetings and uh, script meetings. Okay, so this is, sorry, One, this is the office, right? This is the office okay. right here that you're at. Okay. Okay, this is it. They have more chairs usually. And we don't. You, know, <laughs> you, have, you are like, well, you do more chairs. I want to add to that because, what did I say that? I don't like doing yet though. I want to make sure people know that you have an office that if they need to rent for a day for very, very, a uh, very, very competitive rate. Very competitive rate. Right. Um, well, well there's, there's two ways we can do it. So the office is not only an office for me and I, like, not just a room, but we also yeah. have editing ability, you have the ability to actually um, record, you know, you have a quiet room if you want to record voiceovers. Mm -hmm. We don't have necessarily a sound booth, but we have a place where sometimes you can't find a quiet place in your house and you want to find a place where. So, that you can rent it here. Um, the other thing that we're offering with it is, because um, we also have equipment that we, you know, you can borrow as far as audio or video equipment, but you got to pay at a, a mobile rate or you have to put us basically in your credit, like predominantly in your credit. So this is a facility that was made at or with or whatever. So that way, yeah, if you, if you can't pay us, at least you're advertising for us because if you're putting the movies anywhere you're putting it, people are seeing it and they're seeing it. So us. Which, by the way, I used it a week ago for. Um, yeah, they had to use it at that. And, it was like, and that's, that's my script. That's yeah. what I mean. Oh, yeah. And then Oxford College has used it for the Oxford College has used it for the festival, and then we had one other person use it at one of the festivals. I'm totally different. There was something else on that way. Anyway, but yeah, it's already been used. It's already yeah, it's been used, and and uh, and then you your services and. The services that we offer here actually have to play this transfer video, like all VHS, all home video, um, VHS high, mini DVD, digital high, and DVD. Are you really going to use this video to promote anything? Because it's so far away. <laughs> Joey, keep calling it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Much for that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's really it's actually, you know, we actually get information from just him talking about that. There's probably things that I forget or that I didn't realize. I'm like, oh yeah, he does do that. And then you'll just remember it. That's how things work. Like, you forget, some, you, like, I forget she probably does some certain things. I'm like, and even though I know she does certain things, a meeting like this kind of reinforces it's, that. It's the, what they call the mind share. You got to get into people's head. You got to people's No, head. I'm just talking about the advertising. No, I understand that. I understand. Yeah. No, this is just to put it out so other people see it. Yeah. And just because every meeting is going to be recorded. Right now, I'm just talking about it. You're in your head. It's for us to like show our faces. Uh, you know? Hi. <laughs> so, <laughs> Logan. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> What is your other? Oh, um, oh yeah, we also <laughs> offer uh, scanning like photos and stuff, and then making fun yeah, and editing, um, and uh, editing like audio, photos, and video, and all that stuff. And yeah, the occasion. Lonnie is a computer geek. That's the more. Let's, let's just stick with the writing. I'm the computer geek for you guys. I'm not the computer geek for the world. I don't want to. Is that when I start doing that, it starts to get. Look at your hair. It's a computer geek hair. It's, I mean, no, it's a mad writer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's mad writer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, so you're right. And if that you're right there, if that's what you want to focus on, yeah. and you want that to be the vision, then put that out. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm gonna get that part out. Where I think that we're not. I no. think that's cut it out. Yeah. The part that he cut out, you don't want to see. Right. Cause you think we get something out. really <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Remember, go back and be half an hour and yeah. erase the other thing that he <laughs> cut. <laughs> then erase the thing that he cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's that. There's that stuff. So. And now I'm uh, available a lot more because I don't work full time at all or even any time. So that's a good thing to know. Yeah, see, a lot of people don't know that about me. You don't know my level. You are a, he's a writer. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are a right thing to do from anywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. What's the other thing you want? Well, that's more to love me. That's it. Otherwise, this is all about me. Sorry. <laughs> now, <laughs> wait, wait. Do you have the. Thank you, guys. He's wearing underwear. <laughs> okay. Yes, he has yes. designer underwear. <laughs> so I've kind of narrowed it down to there was four things. Um, I did a lot of camera work. Mm-hmm. I don't do as much, but I still I I, I still do it, but not as much. Because mm-hmm. I narrowed it down to directing, editing, mm-hmm. and writing. Directing, editing, writing. Camera work, not so much anymore. Like, do you well, do camera work like I do computer stuff? Mm. Like, you would rather well, do it more for yourself. I shouldn't have to go out and take that back. Okay. If, if, if you want camera work, I'll do camera work. Okay. I don't, um, I think I do just less camera work. I used to do like 90% camera work mm-hmm. more. But then since I started doing more directing, I can hire someone to do camera work. Right. right. And focus more on the job. Yeah, but you're. Your newer uh, directing, your newer directing jobs mm. are all HD, 4K. That's the thing. Yes, you don't have that anymore. There you go now. So, what are you doing with that, man? <laughs> 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 This broke the conversation. Well, that's one thing that you mean to mention is that a lot of your camera work looks damn well on what you work with is like no 4K, you know, TV, or do you work with standard off? I do not, well, not standard depth because that's kind of ancient now. It is. It is. Even though I have two cameras that are standard depth. But I, I work with um, the Black Magic. I work with. Can I see them? Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, black magic camera. Okay. okay. Which uh, is what kind of camera? But with a uh, 4K HD, uh, all HD, it's HD. And um, wait, sorry. Yeah, it's HD. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've worked with the Canon mm-hmm. Mark III, which is an excellent camera. Mm-hmm. And right here. Hmm? Uh, Mark, mm-hmm. 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 Like, just a bunch of like prosumer cameras. Um, I, I worked with a red camera. Mm-hmm. Um, then for, in, for editing, I do Final Cut Pro, and I do some Photoshop, and uh, mainly Final Cut Pro Photoshop, not really um, anything else. I'm trying to learn more things. Mm-hmm. This year will probably be the year to learn, like, um, what is the other editing main system? The Premiere? Or the Premiere. Yeah. Premiere. Yeah. Premiere, that's my goal. The Premiere. Yeah. Well, so, and writing. And writing. I thought we wrote something together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But now, writing really something that you're willing to work with other people with, or that's oh, yeah. again for just you? Yeah. I've actually worked with you, and then I did one of the scenes I worked with. Um, the actor George Goldie. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like, like, are you willing to work on somebody else's script entirely that's not even part of your script? It's one thing to work with people on your own script, yeah, but it's to work yeah, with some sure. person and then like, you know, you're willing to be able to, mm-hmm. to, to do that, you know, be available. Yeah. <laughs> this is George. Thank you. Is there Yeah. Yeah. And I thought about it too. I even was thinking of how we writing it down and knowing what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen. But I did really, really think about it. And I have different, um, I think, three things that I'm interested in. And the one thing that I really do want to do is still the, the acting. And I think that's one thing that I really do want to focus on to where I get, I want to challenge myself this year. And that's one goal that I have. So just challenging myself, more interesting um, like like a a harder role or, or yeah I want something that's gonna challenge me and just mm-hmm. like whatever that may be I don't know but just I want to be challenged and I want to mm-hmm. want okay. so I can take it ser- more seriously yeah. not that I haven't in the past but I'm willing to do I want to step it up and then secondly writing is something and. I would do the same thing if it was something I wrote or even collaborative or with on someone else's, you know. Yeah. 
writing, that's the nail. And the third, of course, would be um, the hair and makeup. So I'm available for all that stuff, and I, I think that's a good, a good thing for me because even if I'm not, there's a certain project that you guys are doing, I'm not needed as an actor or a writer. You are. I'll do the hair and makeup. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to, if I could be back to back in every little thing in any way that I can, that's what I want to do. I, really, I want this year to be something, um, and this is why I'm excited for this, because I feel like for so many years, we've all, all of us together have like this something, I don't even know what to call it, but there's this. Magical, <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, um, in the creative realm, like in this world. But no, I know why I'm so excited because I thought, oh my god, and here's a way where you can be structured and just really go for it because I feel that we all work so hard to be at this point where we can actually start really doing stuff. Yeah. So. Great. So wait, so the makeup, that's the one thing, the hair and makeup, that's the thing I want people to know about like you do. <laughs> well, no, but it's still about her though. That's the thing. It's not about me. It's, 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 it's about me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then that's right on, when you're talking about hair and makeup, you're not talking, you're talking about basic express all that makeup, like how you made my hair gray, you made me look older. Mm -hmm. um, scars, wounds, like I could do all that kind of stuff okay. too. Okay. Um, but then also just to make people look good on, can I do something? Is that the thing? Yeah. Would you be interested in neon girl makeup or would that just be... Mm -hmm. You would? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I mean anything. I don't care if I was, come on, there's pieces where I was like, writer, this, <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, like anything, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I never wanted anyone to feel that I would be like, oh no, I can't do that. I'm like, oh, I could do anything. I, I mean, uh, besides those three things, anything. You need to be there because you need me to take donuts to you guys in the morning. You know, whatever. Just remember that. That would be a waste of your skill. We would never ask you this. <laughs> What? Oh, I want donuts. Okay. <laughs> no, we would ask you to pick up donuts while you're writing a line yeah. and getting okay. the makeup ready. We would never ask you to do donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. Well, I'm writing. Yeah. Yeah. The same time. We would never no, ask you to do donuts. We would ask yeah, you to okay. do donuts. Yeah, we got the great part. Okay. This is the girl, the really deep character. She's really in depth. But, but that, we, she's really hungry right now. She's bringing her the burger. Can you come and bring her yeah. the burger? Yeah. Bring her the burger. Well, there's 15, 15 burgers. <laughs> you have to be. Yeah. But no, that's what I, I just want you guys to know that I want to be committed and dedicated to whatever mm -hmm. it is because I, I've always believed in you guys and I feel that. Yeah. So back again to the, the hair and makeup. I mean, anything, if I had to do um, tattoos um, or just anything that you ask me, like I'm not right. above art. But is it not, so it's so it's special effects. Basically. And beauty. And beauty, right? To make people look mm -hmm. bad hair, mean? bald you, do you know, whatever. You know, bald people. Mm -hmm. That's why this meeting got to do that. Leah, I've had you bald and you know, <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, let me let me YouTube that. But, but, but prosthetically, not realistic. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah. Okay. No. Yes. For sure. So yeah. Yes. I mean, and there's not even if there's something I'm not sure about, I would um, research Adult that. Yeah, and just like you're, you're know, capable of getting in and. and oh God, yeah. yeah, and I have the capability to get anything that any product or whatever that I need at you know my the wholesale cost. So like that isn't like a problem. Yeah. Cool. Because you always say you do hair and makeup, and I have never known the five steps mm -hmm. that you do hair and makeup. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we have. Yeah. Right way to someone lying dead on the floor, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's, yeah. Look like that, because I shot me. I didn't do that on the floor. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't know you didn't know that. See? Yeah. And then that's why this thing I always saw you, because, like, mm hair -hmm. and makeup. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and that's part of it. And that's actually kind of a boring part because it gets so monotonous because mm -hmm. the wedding season is coming up and it's like spread right now the day and day, mm -hmm. you know so that gets boring so when it comes to like the fun mm -hmm. stuff I don't yeah. know I'm pretty sure I could even like add a finger or something or put you know what I mean like this well, <laughs> no. do I need more fingers does it look like I need elk ears maybe oh, yeah. oh. So, yeah, yeah I couldn't cut it 
Yeah. Are you getting ready to set to? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. That's yeah. no problem. Oh, I have right. an airbrush machine that does what? that. What? What? Yeah. They yeah. have yeah. 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 I just haven't heard you announcing yeah. that you had that. Um, so no yeah. way. Yeah. 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 I didn't even think of that that you would use it for. That you were just in the Zoom Oh, yeah, no. We don't even know that. We don't know that. One of her best friends. Yeah, oops. See what happens? We don't communicate communication. Yeah. Do you know everything about it? You're really good. Oh, God. Okay. No, you offer something, dude. You <laughs> offer something. Yeah. Okay, what are the things that you are willing to offer to other people that to help other people with and that you want to passionately follow on? Criticism. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, we need a You need a yeah, criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Film go, That's wrong. <laughs> filming, editing, re editing. What is filming? Re filming. What is <laughs> what is filming? Like filming what? is anything that you would need uh, a motion capture of a movement <laughs> in life. <laughs> camera <laughs> operator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would get a cinematographer, camera operator, that sort of thing? Okay. I'll capture it all. Okay. Do you have your own equipment? What do you have? I'll say what I have. Yeah, that's what this is for. I have the uh, Canon Rebel T3i. Okay, which is an, uh, an HD camera. Which is an HD uh, a DSLR. Well, uh, the people that they use. No he also works in this building. Yeah, yeah you also run part of you. You are also a contact to get into this building. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so is Junior and Doug. Uh, mm-hmm. No. Uh, you know, they could call me, but well, you're the one that will call me. Come open the door. <laughs> 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 I'm about three hours away, still trying to get there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, so you're a contact producer and you're an editor. You're a good editor. You should, you know, writer, editor, yeah. yeah writer, editor. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you work with Sony Vegas, you don't really edit with anything else. But that's a great editor because you use it as quite a lot of simple rack and final cut stuff. But not. Don't even say you do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, but it's yeah. not, yeah, it's not something that you'd want to. Mm-hmm. You don't want to try to edit a movie as well. You wouldn't want to edit. Um, I did the whole thing. As far as writing, you're, well, the critiquing part of writing and, mm-hmm. and that sort of, um, and the idea of creation and exploration mm-hmm. of ideas. Making it what would you say? I'm a consultant. You're a good consultant when it comes to writing. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a beautiful mind in terms of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's more or less what this meeting, even though it was small, and, and it sort of showed why it needs to happen more often. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping, hoping, mean, hoping, <laughs> hoping, hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping what this year, <laughs> you're, what? you're hoping, you're opening, I'm opening, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, we have a little, oh, cracker. My goal is to my shirt tonight. That's my makeup. That's my makeup. You know, 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 you um, uh, completed yeah. films. Not, uh, you know, yours is already one because it's still just below the last two last year. But it's yeah, we got to at least complete uh, start. You know, not just write but and shoot, but then also edit them. I mean, we're talking about a comedy would be yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some of the stuff we work on, and uh, yeah. we should we should like look into what type of comedy so mm-hmm. we can kind of make the genre know the genre and yeah. Yeah, know that. And Really make it, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I was thinking, have you ever, you've always, you've been in different films of ours, mm-hmm. short films of ours, mm-hmm. you, you would want to act, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not an acting role, yeah, but I just yeah. have to get up there now so I can play father role. Older brother role. <laughs> I think I know, the, 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 the big boss manager. Yeah, he's funny. Look, Jules was talking, and Jules 
gets into this like pensive mode and he's thinking and he starts looking uh-huh. up. And then I started looking up. And and then and I look at L- Lonnie and he's like <laughs> <laughs> And then it gave me an idea for like a scene <laughs> and the character he talks and he just like looks up and he talks and then these guys have been looking at him and they're like <laughs> 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 I got that from uh, there's, a, there's a scene in an airplane when they do that. Oh, because the guy's like he's talking and the mic is like, ah, da, da, doing like a monologue, and then you see him try to look up, and then the three people behind him start going, oh, okay. Because <laughs> like, when you're doing a monologue, sometimes you try to drift off from your eyes, and they're all like, pretty yeah. 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 See, like a, a movie like that, uh, just funny shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. that makes sense. Sticky showing at the $3 theater, like in February. What is it? What is it? No way. Oh, fun. Well, that should be a field trip. There you go. Ooh, creative meeting field trip. Yeah. I think that's important. And he said, because we were yeah, talking about how, like, yeah. uh, they may um, turn on more activity and they face it and knock or whatever. But it's not. Yeah, the story takes place a lot. And it was, like, really bad, bad, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we were thinking, like, like the Oxar yeah. had, like, all these different, you can perceive it in so many different ways. And someone just chose to How did they it. know? Huh? Or they just thought Oxnard and then that's how we want to perceive it? Did yeah. It, think it? We, well, we can go on different levels with that because I have my own theories oh. about why they did yeah. that. I mean, and I told Bonnie it's probably because they saw, you know, Oxnard is like 75% of the And so they just like, okay, it's a Hispanic city, so let's put all these games. Yeah, exactly. But whatever it is, it just didn't. And it didn't fit. Yeah. Um, but well, that's one of the things that in the movie that we should be making. Yeah. To show different. the difference. Because now Oscar with that movie is the 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 title of it is getting out there. The 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 yeah. Oxnard. Yeah. In case now we're changed. You know, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. Well we are uh seventy five percent of these other actually. Yeah. Now, what you can do is like you can have so many perspectives of whatever place you're from, right? Yeah. And so, often it's made up of so many different. Well, you can make so many. It is a little Hollywood. And even if you say like. Areas like if you go to the South Oxnard or if you're like in Colonia or whatever, mm-hmm. even the areas like that, it could be presented in so many different perspectives. It's oh, yeah, it yeah. has to be. I mean, it's just so many ways. But if you, if we did it like a comedy, what, whether mm-hmm. it's romantic comedy or you know what whatever other genres of comedy there is, and and do that in Julian Oxnard, and we have Lonnie, we have you, we have like I can write, we can all create and collaborate and create a, a story that is, you know, it's mainstream. Right. It's not just like this experimental no, funny yeah. stuff, it's mainstream. And even if we don't do it, we can sell it. Mm-hmm. Or, or, but we have the resources, we have like the camera, mm-hmm. we have people like Louie who has the camera, we have mm-hmm. resources, we have camera guys, we have the camera guys. We, we guys. have the, that's we have it, we have it. That's, mm-hmm. what, that's why this meeting all goes out yeah. is, is, is to show, is to give yeah. everyone the idea that we have all these resources at our exactly. disposal. You can literally make, yeah, yeah. To make, but see, this is, that, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. just, just one more thought. No. Um, the thing is that if we really just put our resources into one thing mm-hmm. and, and then just say, all right, let's just, let's just go all out on this one project. Yeah. Just go all out on this one project. And 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 even try to get funding for it, like thirty grand, forty grand, fifty grand, yeah, hundred grand, and then mm-hmm. make it in a and use a formula because you do have to sometimes, not all the time. You can get lucky. Yeah. 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 There's movies out there that you know spent twenty five grand, didn't use formula, and they made it, made a million dollars or five hundred thousand, like slacker. You know, they shot for twenty five thousand. Yeah, I think. Well, that's um, the thing is with the technology that we have, you can make it for a lot cheaper than what these movies are A lot of times, yeah, you know, you'll hear like certain films cost, you know, fifty thousand dollars, but it was because they used real sixteen millimeter or thirty five millimeter cameras. They didn't just use a red camera yeah. or something like that. Where, but if yeah, but if we focus on the story and yeah. the story, and story the characters, key. and focus on that, and then focus on getting good actors. 
and, and rehearsing with them, and, and then, you know, everyone, and it's all about rehearsal, that's what I've noticed. Like oh, rehearsing, yeah. rehearsing, 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 yeah. rehearsing, yeah. And, but a- other than that, I think we can do it. We yeah. have it. Yeah. Yeah. This is the start of something. Yeah. This is a rehearsal for being of the natural person. <laughs> By the way, one of my other goals is to um, get, you know, a, even a bigger building for us. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's this is the start. Yeah. But getting something where you can walk in there and, like, maybe Neon Girl would be the start of, of like, doing post-production for a, a film. Mm-hmm. And walk in there and you can see equipment, you can see, like, post-production, like, editing facilities, mm-hmm. the big screens, and why big screens? Sometimes it, I feel like it's also getting motivating to do those things, just mm-hmm. seeing those things, Plus, right? Mm-hmm. Walking into a place and then people like you and Joey and Lonnie and Julio can walk in there and just, like, at, at, at any time of the day, there's always going to be someone at night, mm-hmm. all night working on an edit, there's always going to be someone there. Yeah. And, um, you know, Julio's there walking in, and he can, he can sit down and take his laptop if, if there's no edit bay for him. Yeah. Or you can walk in there and sit down, yeah. and I'll be right there when we're talking, we'll talk about writing something. Yeah. And collaborate. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's yeah. the goal of this. I mean, we have this office here. This is not like our final goal. This is our, we know this is the start of our office. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we would like to get to a bigger place, but we need, when you start talking about a bigger studio and start talking about that sort of thing, um, not, I'm not shooting your idea now. I'm trying to figure out the logistics and actually how to make that out. Yeah. And to do that, because that's what we've been experimenting with this office is you need to have the rent every month, all the time. You need a way to generate that money all yeah. the time. And that's the other thing. That yeah, money. generating money. That's yeah. where this business here works in transferring video and, you know, for home people and stuff like that. It's, it's a good viable business. Mm-hmm. We're just not here enough to make it. But one now that I am, and they trying to change. Um, it's something that will make money at least enough to pay for the rent every month. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, it's using the same equipment that we're going to turn around and make an entire movie with. And... Because of that, though, that makes the equipment being used. A lot of times, um, when we sit down to do a movie and to, to go in and edit, it's the first time we've edited it in like six months. Yeah. And, and we're like, I, am, I don't remember how you do this or that. You know, I yeah. you must be doing it. But doing this process, of, uh, it, it's like an underlying business of the whole thing. Um, will help support that as it comes along to where we can get into a bigger studio. And, yeah. Um, you know, right now we do 400 months, and we're realizing that's not that bad. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 And if we can, you know, I would, yeah, I would love to have an actual like studio place where you have an actual set that's, you know, when we go in and make a movie, it's not someone's house, it's literally someone's, it's a set that you yeah. leave everything up and you can take the next week to shoot, not like, we have six hours because my mom's going to come home. And, <laughs> you know, then we can take over. And uh, yeah. that, that's, that's the goal. That probably won't happen this year, but that is eventually. Um, oh, yeah, we can set, 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 set a goal, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You stay in. Maybe like in a, in a year and a half or two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, exactly. Well, it is. It's, we've had a few setbacks, but now we're moving forward. Mm-hmm. Where, yeah, two years. That would be the goal. But for right now, the goal is to make these movies. Mm-hmm. You know the most setbacks. Yeah, I won't have one of them. But the other setbacks, we have quite a few. All in one year. But, um, yeah. Um, um, sorry, I said too, but I'm off that. I'm just thinking, like, isn't it interesting to be actor? Like, but in the stuff that we've done. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, like, sometimes, like, if we use our own resources, like, you can't pay actors yeah. as much as oh, yeah. we use ourselves. Yeah. You know? Well, you guys have done, you guys have done movies together and it worked well. Yeah. And, and the that. thing is, like, okay, Julio Alcala uh, wrote and directed the film. And he got a small following, but he got a following. Yeah. And I feel like if we had a place where, if I feel if I had a bunch of money, mm-hmm. I would give him money right now, yeah. and I would set him up with a producer to like coordinate. And here, here would be the idea that you could think of is okay with that money that we're trying to drive towards studio, right? And let's say we want to do three films this year, right? And you got yours already done. Um, maybe we don't count that. As well. mm-hmm. I so this section of it would be like the the like business section where like you you know you're getting 
funding by a certain group, then they want to they want to keep trusting you. Yeah, they want to keep doing that. Yeah. And so you have this other side where you're like you're providing DVDs for them. It's like a real value. Well, yeah, and then that's why you even take care of the health and. That's the whole thing is you just build in that extra, you have the, the money to extra of what you need. I don't, it doesn't have to be 5,000, it's 2,000, mm -hmm. whatever. But um, it depends what the rent is. <laughs> that's the thing is. Well, then, and then so you're saying, okay, like you said about this, the DVD, you get a DVD of this from, um, what is, what is the company? Sorry, your company name? Oh, Modern Video Service. Yeah, 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 that's what we need to do if you want to have it. Modern? Yeah. So that's like your DVD, you know, we, okay, if you donate or whatever, what yeah. do you call it? Donate? Yeah, donate, yeah. $50 and you get this DVD provided by Modern Video Services, too. You know, yeah. that can put you on they, the Exactly, that would help it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We put out the DVD, and, and um, on the Kickstarter, it doesn't have to be necessary. On the Kickstarter, but we have the DVD. Just like, you know, like sometimes you get yeah. the, the DVD where it says, like, deluxe video yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows what it made okay. And that's all that we need to do. Yeah. And then that starts also that you start to, what do call that synergy? Where your movies are going to promote our business, which will then help make your next yeah. movie, which will then help, and then it keeps the cycle going. Okay. Because this business is supposed to fund the studio. Mm -hmm without having the, 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 yeah. the thing of money. Um, whereas like Universal and all those places, they, they own the studio entirely, so they don't have to pay rent on them anymore. And so any other money that comes in generated from the movie, it should pay for the movie, whereas, um, I mean, they pay rent, they have to pay other stuff, they have other investments into it. You, mm -hmm. you, don't, you have other revenues, cash revenues coming in rather than just hoping that Kickstarter gives us enough money this month to pay for the next three months is we need to have a few extra ways that we're making money um, to move forward. And that's one of the things. The other aspect from this meeting that we're hoping that we put together is, or start to, you know, but I, by discussing something, you start to figure out how to do something rather than just all the things in your head. Mm -hmm. If we need to also start learning or figuring out practical and real ways of, um, disseminating or getting our stuff out there and actually making either the money or just getting to know. Um, because if we're, if, again, it comes back to, if we're attaching a name to it that they can go back and buy something from, like let's say if it does the modern video service with SPM, and it makes it to where they can go buy the DVD or they can go just buy our services, even if you just enter the film into a, con a contest, uh, into a, a festival, where you're not going to make any money, it doesn't matter. Cause Indirectly, we're going to make money because eventually someone might see it and go, "Oh yeah, I need to have my home video done." Indirect marketing, is that what yeah, indirect marketing, and and that's where we kind of need to balance yeah. it too. But we need to start figuring you know, like actually getting used to pushing our stuff out into festivals. Pay in festivals, yeah, we have to push ourselves to put our stuff in festivals. Raise your hand if you know how to submit your film into a festival. You just go online and. I've seen, well, I've seen a bunch of. We should have like. Oh, you know what we should have. What do you call, what do you think? Without a box. You should have. Yeah, that's what that's I have. That note. That, that, that is a soul yeah. form. Yeah. But you have to fill You up. should have a I calendar, uh -huh. like a big poster, and have a calendar of deadlines. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. what film festival, and when, and how much. And so we see the deadlines, and we every time we walk into the to this. Um, office, the first thing we see is like, oh wait, oh I don't trust the little two weeks shit. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And it kind of motivates you yeah. to do that. Is that mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. How did you even look on the without I actually, you know? I have, yes I have, but I actually have a, I did a Word document on all that stuff that I just, so yeah, without yeah. a box, does it takes have, forever to fill out that form. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, like a week to, to do it. We need to get used to doing it, where it doesn't take us yeah. forever. Where and like, yeah, it's going to take me 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also go in and do it. Another thing, uh -huh. like resources for actors. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, what about backstage? I've been like having problems, well, not problems, but like there's so much paperwork that when I use tag people, I mm -hmm. haven't been using someone that's tag. Mm -hmm. I'm calling that. <laughs> um, Chico. And maybe you should. Because someone's talking about, about that. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 